Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I'm going to review the entire line of oils, 10 cents, from Chesapeake Beard and Grooming. So with that, right after this quick intro, if I have enough time for it, I'll get right into it. Okay, I'm back, so let's get right into it. Uh, so first of all, the price. The price for a bottle, one ounce bottle of oil is $17.50. Now, and just to show you what I got, I got this uh, pack of 10 oils. Very nice pack. It lists the uh, scent profiles for all 10 oils. And uh, now the ingredients. The ingredients, jojoba, sweet almond, coconut, emu, shea nut, squalane, and essential fragrance blends. Okay, VFS, viscosity, feel and beard, and styling. Uh, this oil is on the thinner side. It absorbed into my beard very quickly. Within 10 minutes, I'd feel my beard. I wasn't left with a, you know, a greasy mess. For me, I'm a little torn with light absorbing oils. On one hand, an oil quickly and easily absorbing into my beard, you would think that's a good thing. But with my gray beard, it tends to at least feel better when I use a coating carrier blend. Uh, that being said, th this made my beard very soft. Uh, for styling, I needed a butter uh, because this was, for me, a very absorbent oil. Uh, when I use an oil that works like this for me, very absorbing, absorbs quickly, I'll use a sealing butter. By that, I mean a butter with sealing oils in it. Uh, a butter with some castor with some coconut. Uh, so let's move on to the scents. Let me at least show you these uh, the samples. Uh, they're one sixth ounce samples. I tried the scents out in the order that they were listed. And uh, so my first one was Cavalry. Now this is Tahitian vanilla in leather. Now for me, the most prominent scent for me was leather. Uh, if you're a fanatic for leather, you get plenty here with that sweet vanilla behind it. Uh, scent strength was medium, and I would say I got a good six hours out of this scent. Uh, the second scent today is Cubano. I, when I tried this, I of course knew that there was some sort of tobacco in it, and when I first tried it, I, I thought to myself that it seemed like there was a little bite, to, but as I, I sniffed it, it occurred to me that it, it wasn't bite and it was spice. And the profile here is rich Cuban cigar with spices and wine. Um, so this I thought was very nice for someone that likes tobacco without a bite, but with some spice in it. Uh, the scent strength on this was the lighter side of medium. I got four to five hours scent duration out of this. By five hours, it was not easily detectable. Okay, now the third scent today is Phoenix. Now, Phoenix is lemon, orange blossoms, and vanilla. Now, what I got out of this initially was a refreshing orange and vanilla, basically creamsicle scent. At first, I didn't notice the lemon, but as I really kind of sniffed and sniffed, I got the impression that the lemon was sort of embedded with the orange blossoms, creating a very fresh and vibrant sort of orange scent. Uh, now, I said fresh and vibrant, but it was a light, fresh and vibrant as far as scent strength. Um, as far as duration, I noticed that it started to noticeably fade at around three hours. By six hours, if I stuck my beard over my nose, I could tell it was there, but beyond that, couldn't really detect it. When I say that, I'm talking about the entire scent. The vanilla did hang around at some level for about eight hours. So three, three to four hours for that full-blown, uh, wonderful, vibrant scent. And after that, you know, the vanilla hung out, which is always nice. So that is the Phoenix. Okay, scent number four, Lavender Grove. Now this one, Clementine in our, or I'm sorry, Clementine in Lavender, basically orange and lavender. Uh, this was a very light scent, three hours, maybe four. Uh, this one, and I hate mentioning other companies, but this kind of reminded me of Belle Isle, which is lavender and orange, um, from Detroit Grooming. I got the feeling that the lavender 
lavender in this might have been a little bit more of a natural lavender. It, it seemed like a much more light and subdued lavender. Uh, this one I really liked. It, you know, it only had that three to maybe four hours. Uh, but this was very nice. If you like orange and lavender, you're going to like this one. Okay, in set number five, Irish Blue. Now, this is one that I was really looking forward to. It is Roasted Oatmeal Stout in Blueberry. Uh, again, this reminded me of, of another oil I've tried. Uh, reminds me of Prize Pie by Ruddy Man. Uh, the oatmeal was definitely out for me out front with a very nice not very tart blueberry uh, in with it uh, it was a medium medium light scent you got a good four to five hours out of this uh, this one I really enjoyed okay and the sixth scent is Poe now Poe is Birchwood and Dude I like I really like this Birchwood with Oud. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Oud. I don't like Holy Grail, for example. Uh, I usually like Oud paired with fruits. Sort of adds character to the fruit scent, but you don't directly smell the Oud. Uh, this one, you definitely smell the Oud, uh, but the Birchwood, to my mind, makes the Oud pleasant, really tames it. And uh, very light scent, maybe four hours. With some of these light scents, it's Sometimes hard to really gauge how long it hung in there. Uh, but again, if you're not the biggest fan of Oud, to me, Birchwood and Oud scents allow you to really appreciate the Oud without getting that, you know, Holy Grail, you know, stank thing going. Uh, <laughs> scent number seven. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, Sweeney. Now, Sweeney is a bay rum in barber shop. Bay Rum in Barbershop. Uh, for this one, for me, the barbershop was definitely dominant. In fact, what I got out of this was pretty much a classic barbershop. At different points, I thought I was getting something else in the background, uh, but I, it could have been just me searching for the Bay Rum. Uh, it was a nice, sweet, classic barbershop. Scent strength was medium. In with this one, eight plus hours, definitely an all day scent. Uh, one of my favorites of the 10. Okay, in the eighth scent, my favorite of them, uh, Scarecrow. The scent profile is cider, pear, cedar, moss, and I guess more pear because they list it again. Uh, awesome scent, I love it. It smells like apple cider to me. Uh, very light scent. For me, the scent duration was a little over three hours. If you're not big into scent duration, you're going to, you know, it's very refreshing and nice when you put it in. Just doesn't last that long. Uh, but easily my favorite scent. I just, for me, wished it last, lasted a little longer. Okay, scent number nine is vintage. Now, the scent profile here is spiced honey, tonka, vanilla, and oud. Uh, now, the spiced honey is definitely center stage with the rest kind of forming a background. Uh, the scent was light. Um, I've got to say with this one, I really felt like it, it was really kind of unique. Uh, but after about an hour and a half, the scent profile felt like it kind of transitioned. Uh, I believe it was the vanilla started coming out a little bit more dominantly. Um, I, I kind of loved it at first, but as it changed and transitioned over the day, I didn't really like the direction it went in. Uh, so I, I don't really know what to say about this one. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at Spice Tunny, Tonka, Vanilla, and Oud. But uh, that is vintage. And the last scent, tenth scent, is Daybreak. Now the scent profile for this is Vanilla, Honey, and Oat. Now with this one, for me, the Oat was way out front. And the Vanilla and Honey were sort of in the background. It was a medium scent strength. Uh, I got about six hours and then it seemed to seriously fade out. But this this one would make reappearances of, over the next several hours. So it it, uh, it hung in there. So uh, uh, Daybreak, I liked it. If You've got to be a fan of the kind of oat earthy uh, scent if you're going to like this one. Uh, and that is Daybreak.
Now to summarize, I had been dying to try this brand, Chesapeake Beard and Grooming. I had heard the owner speaking several times and just seemed to be the kind of guy that really had a passion for putting out a good product. I've got to say that this stuff made my, again, made my beard very soft. It's a, for me an absorbing oil, uh, which isn't always best for a gray beard, uh, but I enjoyed it. I liked an awful lot of these scents. Uh, I would definitely buy it again. Uh, and what else in the world? I will never do 10 cents because I'm not sure whether I did a good job or, a, you know, kind of crappy job, kind of banging through them. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you think I a, did a good job, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, hit that notification bell. And I will see you the next time.